Hey guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this amazing 3-in-1 street presentation view using AutoCAD. Yes, that's right, this is going to be an AutoCAD tutorial. But this kind of a 3D presentation or a street view presentation is basically used to present the street profile when you're doing some landscape design you need to do some landscape research first so you need to analyze all the streets that you have around maybe your your project location or something and this is a very cool way of presenting the structure of the street that you have so this is the street I'm going to be presenting this is one of the most beautiful streets in my town and I really like it it's and the town is Belgrade in Serbia just if you care for some reason and Basically, it's this lovely street with basically just some road, some parking on the side, and there are these build buildings and villas all around, and there's this beautiful tree line in the middle that makes everything a lot nicer. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to go into Google Street View, and then just kind of walk around and see the street, see the, the structure of the street, see how how wide is this pavement over here how wide is the parking and when you have this parallel parallel parking it's usually 2.5 meters at least in my country and the the road is usually 3 meters and then we can kind of say that this is probably around 2 meters and the road here again 3 and the sidewalk is maybe 1.5 or 2 meters that depends and then you have houses on each side and you have first this concrete fence and then you have a bit more room maybe a few more meters and then there's a, a small staircase and then there's a villa and the same thing on the other side and these are usually in this street there may be embassies or some some important buildings but anyway now we're going to be jumping into AutoCAD and then I'm going to be showing you how to draw this cool three-in-one presentation for landscape design so let's start drawing over here and I'm just going to show you the layers. So I've got the layer zero, that's, you always have layer zero. And then you have a thin lines and a thick lines layer. And the thick lines will be for everything that's in section. So everything that's cut, so those lines will be a bit thicker and everything else will be done with thin lines. So let me just choose thick lines and let me just place a, a line like so. So this is kind of a, Level, level zero line and I'm just going to be placing one vertical line here as well so this is kind of the center of the street and first thing I like to do is I like to do the street profile or the street section so I'm just going to select this copy it copy it by one meter on this side and by one meter on this side so this is kind of the the middle part of the street where the tree line is and then let me just use the offset tool with the value of 3 meters which is the basically the width of the street so we have 3 meters and 3 meters for cars going in both directions then you need the offset value of 2.5 because we have that little that little parallel parking strip on the side and then let it let's just offset by 1.5 that's the pedestrian area okay so once we have these lines now it's time to create the profile of this part of the street so I'm just going to copy this line above by the value of 0.15 or 15 centimeters and then let's start creating this here little island in the middle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create do an offset of 0.2 and then offset this inside, offset this a bit inside, this as well. So you're offsetting everything inside except this final line over here where this is basically the property line, this is where the properties start. So once we have this, this is the actual curb, I'm just going to create a kind of a curb element over here. And then let's just, let's, yeah, let's create it like so. maybe one more line here okay so this is like the curb element and I'm just going to type in join to create this as a polyline now let's just mirror it around this axis so we have it here and here and then we can copy it to the other side so 
let me just select this one, go copy, select it here, and place it over here. And then I'm just going to select this one, copy, and place it over here. Okay, so once we have that, now we can kind of do a bit of trimming. So I'm just going to use trim and extend, trim here, trim here. And then you can bring this in a bit. And here we don't really have this line anymore, but let's bring this to here. Okay, now we don't need these lines anymore, or these lines, or this, or this. And then let's continue with the ground over here. Okay, and this is the, the road line. So let me just bring this in over here and bring this over here. Okay, so once we have that, we can also trim it over here. Yeah, that's important. And let's do this over here. Now, this is not really a curb. This is kind of a stone paving that kind of separates the street or where the cars go between this little parking, parallel parking area. So I'm just going to create a rectangle like this. Now, usually this wouldn't be poking out of the street, but just to make it sort of a, an exaggeration in order to, to kind of point that out, that this separates the street. And let me just trim and extend here and trim and extend here. Okay, so basically we have now the street profile and now it's time to do all of the buildings. And now basically we're continuing on with this fence over here with the guardrail as well. So you just want to have everything basically showing in the section where is the separation from the street to the property. And then for the building here, as you can see, I'm placing all of the floors. The floors kind of indicate the structure of the building and how many floors the building has. And if you know if there are any basements in these buildings, it's usually good to indicate that as well because it's important for some landscape analysis before you create a landscape plan to showcase everything. But in this case, this building doesn't have a basement, so I didn't place it. But I did place this curved roof basically just to, to, to show that it doesn't have a flat roof. It has kind of an, a, an angled roof. And here I'm just finishing off the stairs and the road. And you don't really have to be too precise. It can be kind of a diagram type thing. But you want to show all of the elements you have over here. And here I'm just continuing on with the, the second house. And then you basically repeat the process for the second house on the other side. And what you can see here is I'm kind of starting to convert this from a kind of a section view into a perspective view. And because everything is kind of starting from the, the section, it looks quite nice. It looks like the, the section has been basically extruded into a form of a some sort of a perspective view although this perspective isn't really it's nothing like it would be if you were doing it in a 3d program but i especially like the these kind of a point perspectives when you're doing them in cad they kind of look cartoonish like but they they, they show a lot i don't know I, I i just like this type of a presentation view so you basically just extend all points to the to the center point in the that you have determined and just don't place it too high on the on your drawing so it should be kind of a, a little bit above the street and then you start placing all the points and connecting it and yeah yeah basically the the center point is at the the level of the first floor so maybe you should be going by that and here i'm just kind of placing these balusters or the, the, these points on the the railing or and then just connecting everything, placing all the lines, you get a point, you just connect everything and then you kind of work, work with it and connect it. Okay, so with the hard part out of the way, now it's time to continue on with the easy part and that's the, the floor plan part. So I'm just going to place one line like so to create sort of a separation between this here perspective view and the section view and our floor plan view. 
and now once we have this because everything is already uh, dimension we already have all the dimensions from the section part so you can just extend these lines and I just like to create one line and then just copy it around to all the important points so let me place it here here as well and then you can of course mirror this around so just use the mirror tool and there you go and then for the house I'm just going to place let's say one line over here now because this is in perspective you don't have to be overly precise this is just kind of a graphic represent representation of a street so it doesn't have to be perfect okay so once we've done this now uh, just a little trick here when you're trimming, if you if I, if I trim over here, if I go trim and extend because I don't want these lines going through, I would have to trim here and then trim here again. And to eliminate that part, because sometimes there's a lot more lines and it can be a bit difficult, I like to place one more line over here. So then, oops, it should be going up a bit. Okay, and then when I trim, just all the way through, I can then select all of these lines and delete them. And let's delete this because we don't need the perspective center point. Okay, so we have that. And now I'm just going to kind of finish off this center island over here. I think it's a interesting part. Or maybe finish it down on this side. Maybe that's even better. So I'm just going to place a line like this. And then let's create a circle here and here. And then we can trim everything. Okay, so you just continue on doing this. And there you go, so our 3-in-1 presentation street view is finished. We have our section, we have our perspective, and we have our floor plan. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.